the scientific community mean by a variant? Is it, it, uh, like, we know it's a version, like whenever we get a software update, it'll be the version of this and that. Is it the similar thing or what exactly, is there like a drastic difference because for us to understand that? So if you go back, I mean the virus, there are the genes and that is made up of certain letters that we, that we did, uh, denote and if those can change and that is called a mutation. So therefore you find that you there are, now say Omicron had about 50 different changes from the original Wuhan strain. So why do they do that? There are five, re, five effects of a, of a change that can occur. I mean like human beings won't change yeah. so rapidly because it's over many decades, but there, there are changes even in all organisms. So when, it, when you look at uh, the five changes that viruses try to do, one thing is, is it more transmissible? Does it cause more severe disease? Does it affect testing? That is, if, you, if, it's a, if it's a variant and you can't detect in the standard test, that's a big problem. Next one is, does it affect the treatment we are using? Say a certain drug, now, when Omicron came, there was a medicine called monoclonal antibody, which they were given as injection. The monoclonal antibodies that were using at the time were not effective, so there was no purpose in giving them all. And finally, which everyone is so interested in, is what is its effect on vaccine responses? Because that's the most important, but that takes time to, to study. So now say tomorrow if you have a variant, it, we just can't tell you immediately what the vaccine. So those are the five things. and. We, Viruses will mutate, so the important thing with Omicron was the mutation pattern when it initially came in November, towards the end of November, everyone was last year. Last year, sorry, 20, 2021, people were quite nervous because so many mutations. But then the data from South Africa came out and said, okay, the patients were not getting, they were not ended up in mm. ICU and dying. But then we had to remember that South Africa, a small, younger population, they were getting, they had, a lot of them had uh, got COVID before, etc. So they had pre-existing pre immunity. That was great because it was milder, milder sort of infection that was causing. And then we know that there was vaccine responses were reduced, vaccine effectiveness was reduced with against Omicron, but that was balanced because it was milder, it was more transmissible, it was more in the throat rather than in the lungs, that we do, just don't prefer virus to be at the upper airway okay. rather than the lower. So it was transmissible, but it was not causing the issues in the vaccinated as we would have seen with Delta. So that is the sort of the segue into Delta Cron. So now the Delta and the Omicron the sort of variants have merged and now we have Delta Cron. If that is the one that we had to just ensure that it doesn't take off because if it takes off then you're having the Delta aspects of it more dangerous, Omicron mm -hmm. more transmissible and that's a combined sort of a dual effect.